Welcome to the fish room, the aqua base. It's starting to look so good in here. Some of the tanks need a little bit of maintenance, but today we're working on something else. We'll, we're building another stand, the final stand for this fish room that will eventually go out into the, my editing room where, yeah. So we've got these two four foot tanks right here that will eventually need their own stand. And we've got one right here. This stand, is one that I really really like the look of. Right now it's just holding some st random stuff. But this stand soon is going to uh, hold my African cichlid tank right here. So you can see I've got some yellow labs in here. I've got a total of seven right now. And I'll be moving that. I have to take out all the rocks because the rocks are really heavy. So I've got to do like a, a full video on that where I take out the rocks and move it onto this stand over here. And then we're going to move that stand over here. And that's where the African cichlid stand will sit, the African cichlid tank. And it's gonna look so good, I can't wait for that. Um, and then we'll have this tank left. And what we're going to be doing today is building the stand for this tank. And this tank is going to sit here for the time being, for a short while, until we move it into my room, or the live stream room, it, which is what I'm calling it, um, because that's where I want to do live streams, and I want this tank in the backdrop. Right now it's not looking too good. Every year, once it starts getting warmer, this tank goes through an algae phase, so we get all this hair algae. It happened last year as well, but then it slowly disappears, so I'm not too worried about it. You can see as long as the fish are happy, it's um, really no problem at all, and we also also get some crypt melts which is normal but they all grow back and it's nothing to be uh, worried about so you can see right now it's not the best looking tank but it will look good and I'll show you guys again once it starts looking good let's go and start building the stand today we're using two by fours we're going to be building something similar to this but a little bit different all right so this is where I'm going to be building the stand today and eventually the stand will sit here so in the past I did move my 60 centimeter, this is a two foot tank, rimless tank, uh, right here, and I was planning to do a tank right here, but I think I'm going to be moving this setup back into the fish room, and then we'll have a four foot tank right here, and I think I might place the rainbow fish crypt jungle here. But that's only going to happen later in the future. For today, we're just building the stand, and then we're actually going to move it back into the fish room, and then later on in a couple weeks time, when I get some friends to help me move everything, we're gonna move it back here. Now I want to go a little bit into detail with how I build this stand because this is going to be like none other stand I've built. And it's going to be different uh, to what I've built before. Uh, I've never built a stand like this. With DIY stands, I'm only familiar with the King of DIY style stand, which I've built in the past, and the Japanese style stand, which is what I call it in Japan. Uh, when you say DIY stand, like the one I'm going to build today is kind of what everyone does here. I've got all my pieces cut out here, and maybe I'll put some dimensions up if you want to do the same size as this. So let's get started. It's kind of similar to the King of DIY stand, but slightly different. We'll do a time lapse, and every once in a while I'll go through and point out some of the different features of the stand. We need to move this thing out of the way. One more thing I want to mention before I start this is, this is regular 2x4s that I got at my home center, my local home center. And I did trim it down a little bit, so you can see the edges are really sharp and flat. I really wanted this look, because I don't really like the look of the rounded edges that you get uh, straight from the shop. So I went to my carpenter, and I got him to plane it down for me so that we got all the sharp edges. So let me give you a quick look at that right here. So yeah, you can see this right here is what you get at the store. It's got a little bit of a rounded edge. And this right here to, on the right is the flatter one. So not a huge difference, but 
once you put everything together, I prefer the look of the planed down one. And I think that's what you call the plain downer. I don't know, but yeah, not a huge deal. Just something I wanted to try out. So you can see we've got the two frames right here laid out. I've also put a middle brace going sideways. I think what's very common is center braces going front to back. Um, but in Japan, like everyone does it this way. I'm not so sure what the difference is. I'm not sure which one is better. But today we're doing it the Japanese way. There will be braces going in this way, front to back, afterwards, on the sides. And you'll see that in a moment. But for now, let me start to assemble this so you can see what it's going to look like. Alright, and check that out. So it's not properly, it's not fixed permanently yet. It's still just um, sitting in place if I push it the whole thing will fall apart. So I am going to glue this up and also attach screws to it. Usually when I build my stands, I don't use any glue at all, but today I really want this to be a sturdy and strong build and I want this to be permanent and long lasting. So that's why I'm using glue on this build. So you can see how it looks like right now. We've got a center support here. We've got the side supports as well, holding up the top frame and you can see the bottom frame down there and then uh, later on I don't have the cutouts yet but we're going to fit some pieces right in here so that it becomes flush the wood becomes flush it's nice looking and I think it also adds uh, support stability so that the, the wood doesn't twist um, front to back side to side and stuff like that and one more thing I really love about this design compared to uh, the other design that I build my stands is that this design, once you get the tank set on here, you'll see much clearer later, but all these end grains don't show. You don't see any end grains with this build, whereas with the other stand, you get this side piece sticking out to the, all the way to the end here, and I'll show you um, in a clip right here, but you can see that the end grain sticks out and I just don't like the look of end grain showing so it's nice to have it all covered uh, This this stand doesn't show any end grain at all And just like that, the stand is complete. It's not 100% done yet. There's still some final touches I want to make to the stand to make it look much more beautiful than it is right now. So you can see I've got a board up here. It's just a plywood board and I've painted the edges, the corners, all white because I kind of want to try out this look, a white, uh, kind of like a styrofoam look, but it's, it's not really a styrofoam. But yeah, I just wanted to try this out. I'll show you an image of what I really like, uh, like a dream setup I kind of have uh, right up here. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, but the cabinet is going to look 
completely totally different I just wanted to copy that white trim uh, because I thought it looked really neat and then I'm going to build doors on this eventually I still don't have plans for what type what style door I want because there's so many different styles of doors you could have on a cabinet so I'm still thinking about that and also I did countersink the screws a little bit uh, because I want to cover these up with wood so that we can have a nice like seamless perfect look to the stand a nice finish I tried to minimize the amount of screws I put on the outside of the stand so you can see for like these beams right here all the screws are sunk in on the inside because once we have the doors on here and the side panels you won't be able to see any of the screws so you can see most of the screws even for the side panels are on the inside and even in here kind of a challenging job it would be much easier to put screws through the front but then it wouldn't look as good so I just wanted to go all in with the stand these screws were the hardest to get because I put this beam in first and I should have put this beam in afterwards because I couldn't get a my screwdriver this thing and this thing this thing couldn't fit in there with this pat with this beam going through the middle so I had to use a hand screwdriver and a mini hand screwdriver so I can get those so all these screws down here were used using this and I feel like I'm about to get blisters on my hand right now you can see my hand is kind of blistering up and then on the sides you can see I've also not put the screws here because we put them on the inside so there's only screws on this area so we're gonna cover that up and this, this stand I'm just so happy with. I'm also gonna screw down this board uh, just to keep it in place so when we put the tank on here it doesn't move at all. So that's uh, another thing I've got to do to the stand. But this room now is a mess. You can see all the wood dust all I piled up over there. So when I put the doors on the stand I'm also going to put a board uh, kind of like this on the bottom so that we can put our filters and our CO2 um, on this thing inside the cabinet so it's gonna end up being a cabinet right now it's just a, a aquarium stand a DIY aquarium stand that will convert into a cabinet and then this room will eventually become the live stream rooms where I do regular live streams I'm not sure like how often but I just know I want to do regular live streams at least once a month uh, and then we'll have a tank there as a backdrop and I think it's gonna look so cool I'm so excited for this I can't wait. Let me know what your thoughts are on the stand in the comments down below. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.